It's the Emperor Cup final. Biggest game of our season. Biggest game, probably, of our career, actually, now that you come to mention it. And we are, of course, in a neutral stadium, whatever the Japanese equivalent of Wembley is. Uh, and we're up against Vajalta Sendai. And obviously a win here would mean that we leave the club with some sort of silverware come the end of the season. And there we have Captain Tokunaga rallying the troops. We're of course playing with our usual 3-4-3. Three, three. We're playing as a right midfielder. Delgado, however, the slowish target man playing in front of me rather than Kono. Um, so we'll see how that pans out. And the opposition as well playing with a more of a 3-5-2 with Abe and Rafaelson up front. And uh, those of you guys that have been following you know, the series for a while will be more than aware that Abe is unfortunately one of those players that uh, always seems to score against us. But uh, that's one side. There I am, ready to rumble. And six minutes in, typical me, I start the video off <laughs> with a cross into the box that, uh, that meets no one. Which is a shame. Uh, anyhow, 18 minutes in. Surprise, surprise. We are 1-0 down. And look who scored. It's Ape. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, that celebration was cringe. But I'm not quite sure what our defender was doing. So our defender almost like tried to tackle Abe and failed miserably. And, you know, out of all the games to fail like that, he chooses the final. Anyways, it was a lovely pass from me. It was a nutmeg as well. <laughs> um, but um, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it was Marilla didn't actually uh, shoot in the end. And then Delgado uh, caused a foul, which meant the referee had to stop the game. 27th minute, dodgy overhead kick. That's the uh, you know standard overhead kick of the episode. And 29 minutes, we were knocking on the door, but we just couldn't quite you know get the shot off. 31 minutes in, um, I decide to try and change things around. I go all the way to the byline uh, and then drill the ball across towards a penalty spot. I do obviously score, but it was offside. And then in the 33rd minute, after being inspired by Trent Alexander-Arnold's uh, quick corner kick against Barcelona in the Champions League semi-final, I decide to uh, play a quick free kick of my own. It goes towards Kono on that left-hand side. And how on earth he, he doesn't hit the target from here, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, it's difficult, you know, first time to take it on the volley the way he was trying to. But I think he just about had enough time to take the first touch. And, uh, you know, 43rd minute, you think to yourselves, right, let's go in at half-time. Let's regroup um, and then readdress things. But... In the 43rd minute, we decided it would be a good idea to concede. And again, I'm not really quite sure who was meant to be picking Abe up. So at this point for us, coming out into the second half, it was really just a case of if we can get a goal back, just a goal back, we might stand a chance. Because here we are, you know, in the Emperor Cup final, we're 2-0 down and it's not looking good. 64th minute, I play a semi-assist almost. Good pass from me, very simple pass from me. But, um, you know, it's because I spotted the awesome run of that player. And Kono, um, who messed up that volley early on in the episode, gets the simple tap in and quickly picks a ball up and rallies the troops and says, come on, lads, let's get it back to the kickoff spot. Let's try and get ourselves back into this game, you know. And, and we believed, but the problem was that Vajelta Sendai kept on coming. Our three at the back were really struggling up against their two strikers. And exactly what I didn't want to happen happened like I am the team's main source of creativity and the gaffer decides to take me off there's the second dodgy overhead kick of the episode by the way <laughs> um yeah 83rd minute this was probably our best chance of the second half I can't believe this ball didn't find its way into the back of the net and then pretty much with the last kick of the game um you know it was a cross that was quite dreadful to be honest and there we go. We were undone by an Abe double, an Abe masterclass. And you can see how much it means to the lads. And obviously it meant a lot to me because I really wanted to at least consider leaving Japan with some sort of silverware. And I finished the game with a rating of 4.0 because I was trying all sorts to try and grab a goal. We did, however, finish in the team of the tournament. And I guess, you know, we just got to look at the bright side of life. And until next time, thanks for watching.